fascination with the sea began as a child growing up in the peninsula of Kintyre in Campbelltown and hearing the stories of my fisherman father. This fascination led me to study the science of waves, which I used to create paintings that convey the power and the brutality of the sea. I grew up beside the sea, lived my life depending on it for income. I worried tirelessly about my fishermen family in Campbelltown and Shetland while they made their living at sea. It was a dear friend, but it made for a strange bedfellow. I loved and feared it in equal measure. I was obsessed with it as a child, still am, but I'm no closer to understanding my relationship to it. During the uncertainty of lockdown, I yet again turned to the sea for comfort and began scribing and typing letters to it. Sometimes these would just be musings about the current situation, but others would include hand-traced 20-year-old letters from my mum and dad. This text was re replicated onto the canvas of the paintings that are included in this show. Beyond the topography of the sea, I need to understand its science, the maths inside it. This harks back to my dad and family working at its mercy as fishermen, many on small skiffs. I was desperate to understand its unpredictability, what would make for safe and non-safe conditions. I looked at the many equations of waves, soon realising that knowing this would not lessen the dangers faced by my family. Knowledge was not a form of protection. However, despite this, my desire to deepen my comprehension of the sea's relationship with the wind, stars, moon and tides only strengthened. Recording the many factors that cause the sea to swell and shrink has formed part of the dialogue between myself, the sea and the painting. 
For over three decades, my work has focused on the Scottish fishing, Shetland, and the beaches around Campbelltown, Westport, and Macrahanish. I travel mostly in advance of stormy weather conditions, on boats mesmerised by the beauty of the vacant horizon and wake left by the vessel. My process involves exactitude, extremes and instabilities, peripheries, places of rapid change and shifts, both physically and meteorologically. I work in layers, almost storytelling in each painting. I copy the text from letters from my mum and dad, personal message from loved ones onto the canvas, then sketch wave diagrams onto the surface before the long task of drawing the wave begins using Pantone pens, inks, oils, and layers and glazes of cold pressed wax. My materials are of great importance to me and form part of the overall concept of the work. I document the Beaufort wind scale, much like my dad would listen to the fishing forecast for wind speeds, to scientifically sketch out the sea's behaviours in advance of visiting the many beaches around my home in Kintyre and Nationus in Shetland. This additional information helps establish a bond and comprehension of the sea. I am truly fascinated by the many external factors that determine its behaviour, unpredictability, beauty and sometimes rage. I often feel like a spectator watching the sea from a distance as it sways to and fro. It's a reminder of how my family interacted with the many waves during their years at sea while I stand at the shore just watching. It's that observational role that seems to have impacted how I record and paint it, building from the diagram up as if I were back in the life room trying to understand the anatomy of the human body before I could paint the figure. I need to understand the bones of the wave before I can properly visually articulate it. I think perhaps curator Sasha Craddock describes my work better than I ever could when she wrote, Don McGeeky's diagrammatical accounts of the progress of the tide and the moon lie beneath the powerfully painted representations of a wave as they are about to break. These paintings underpin with force the fact that visual representation is made up of so much more than appearance alone. The wave is held up not by the eye, but by science and rationale. It's been many a year since I left you here And there's been many a tear that's been cried When you step from the shore, I'll help you aboard And timed are we We'll set to sea And I'll never again let you go And so as the tides rise and fall And the waves keep on crashing On the harbor wall And so I stand waiting As the tides rise and fall And the waves keep on crashing the harbor wall
Señores.